Electron dot diagrams and structural diagrams are two-dimensional models of molecules. This is fine for very small molecules. But understanding the chemistry of more complex molecules requires a three-dimensional perspective. To get an idea of what these molecules look like, we use the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, VSEPR. This model is based on electron repulsion. As you know, electrons have the same charge and thus repel. The VSEPR theory states that the bonding and non-bonding pairs of electrons will arrange themselves so that the repulsive forces between them are at a minimum. In other words, the electron pairs around the central atom will be positioned as far apart as possible in three-dimensional space. To see how this model works, select a geometric shape. This is a linear shape. Neither atom is considered central because there are only two atoms. Since two points determine a line, this must be linear. All diatomic molecules exhibit a linear shape. This geometric shape is referred to as linear. Mercury-2 chloride is an example of a molecule with a linear geometric shape. What is the central atom of this molecule? How many valence electrons does mercury have? Here is the electron dot diagram for mercury. How many single or bonding electrons are present on the mercury atom? How many non-bonding pairs of electrons are present? Where do the bonding electrons need to be positioned in order to have the least amount of electron repulsion? They need to be directly opposite each other. This forms a 180 degree angle. All simple molecules in which the central atom has two single electrons and no non-bonding electron pairs are linear. This is a trigonal planar shape. Boron trifluoride has this geometric structure. What is the central atom of this molecule? How many valence electrons does boron have? Here's the electron dot diagram for boron. How many bonding electrons are present?
how many non-bonding pairs of electrons are present. What arrangement would minimize the electron repulsions between the fluorine atoms? By arranging the fluorine atoms at angles of 120 degrees, the electron pairs have minimized the repulsions between them. All simple molecules in which the central atom has three bonding electrons and no non-bonding electron pairs are trigonal planar. A methane molecule exhibits a tetrahedral shape. What is the central atom for this molecule? How many valence electrons does carbon have? How many bonding electrons are present in the central atom? How many non-bonding electron pairs are present in the central atom? What arrangement would minimize the repulsions between the hydrogen atoms? By looking at this electron dot diagram, you would think that the bonding electron pairs would have minimal repulsions at 90 degree angles. But remember, electron dot diagrams are only in two dimensional space. In actuality, the bonding electrons are positioned at 109.5 degree angles. Many simple molecules in which the central atom has four bonding electrons and no non-bonding electron pairs have tetrahedral shapes. This shape is called trigonal pyramidal. Nitrogen triiodide molecules have trigonal pyramidal shapes. What is the central atom of this molecule? How many valence electrons does nitrogen have? How many bonding electrons surround the nitrogen atom? How many non-bonding electron pairs surround the nitrogen atom? Where do the electrons need to be positioned to have the least amount of repulsion?
The non-bonding electrons repel the atoms' bonding electrons to a greater degree than the bonding electrons repel each other. Therefore, the angle between one bonded atom and another bonded atom is smaller than if they were evenly arranged. The non-bonding electrons cause the nitrogen triiodide molecule to assume a pyramid-like shape. The three bonded atoms form the base of the pyramid, while the non-bonding pair is located at the tip. The angle between the bonds is approximately 107 degrees. Simple molecules in which the central atom has three bonding electrons and one non-bonding electron pair form trigonal pyramidal shapes. Water molecules take this geometric shape, commonly called angular. What is the central atom? How many valence electrons does oxygen have? How many bonding electrons does oxygen have? How many non-bonding pairs of electrons does oxygen have? Where do the electrons need to be positioned to have the least amount of repulsion? The two non-bonding pairs of electrons exhibit a greater degree of electron repulsion than the two bonding pairs of electrons. To minimize the repulsion, the two non-bonding pairs of electrons push the bonded atoms closer together, resulting in an angle approximately 104 degrees between the bonds. Simple molecules in which the central atom has two bonding electrons and two non-bonding electron pairs have an angular shape. 